How to start a blog. It is such a nice day today, guys. I'm going to go out for a walk with my family and go enjoy that today. My wife ended up buying me some t-shirts because it's just not rainy and cold in the Pacific Northwest today. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's coming on the summer, guys. Absolutely loving it. Ready to go fishing. But you guys are ready to start a blog. You know, um, before I start writing up on the board, let's just go through, first off, um, the very first steps of really getting in there and setting up a good blog. First off, guys, you want to come and you you want to come to that decision. Make that decision on the niche, the product, the service, the business, or whatever it is that you really want to focus in on when starting your blog. Because here's the deal: you might also want to write this out on paper. When you start thinking about it, guys, two things you want to do right off the bat. First off, is make the decision on that particular niche, 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 whatever. <laughs> You want to make your mind up on that particular niche. The next thing you know is you want to come up with about five or six different ideas of that particular niche that you want to write on because these are going to be the main pages, the static pages to your WordPress blog or Joomla or Drupal. So these are going to be five or six pages. And these are all going to be keyworded somewhere around what that niche is about. So let's just say you're talking about blogging. So maybe you want to talk about, uh, uh, you have some blogging uh, resources. Then you want to go um, uh, blogging basics. Uh, maybe you want to go to blogging SEO. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm starting to create, we're using keywords with different subjects within that same major subject, guys. That's what I'm doing with this, with my niche, is I'm gonna start thinking out the main pages, the main static pages to my website. Static pages, kinda of like just a regular website, guys, on a, on a WordPress blog, they're, they're always there. That's why they're static. They're always present up in that navigational bar. As a matter of fact, if you're on my blog right now seeing this, look right up here, you're gonna see some of these right here. And you're gonna go, oh, okay, so I get that. That's static pages. So you're going to want to come up with those because those are the very first things that you're going to actually write in your blog. Okay, next thing you know, guys, when you start writing that up, uh, you're going to need a good domain name. I think having a good domain name that's keyworded around your particular niche. Um, you know, if it's uh, blogging, I bought ebloggerpro.com. Uh, the reason is, is people were actually looking up eblogger. And there was actually tens of thousands of them. And that was, and it had low competition. So I'm going to work on getting this site up. It's a brand new site, one of my new, newest sites. And I'm going to work on getting it up to the top where it belongs. Um, and why does it belong there? Because I work really hard. <laughs> no, I do. I work hard, guys. I work hard to do all of this and get all this information to you. Um, so you want to make sure that you get a good domain name and everything else that really, really makes sense to your blog as a whole. You have to understand today that whether it's a post or whether it's pages, doesn't matter. Your blog is not, your pages and your posts are not separate little islands anymore. Everything counts when it comes to Google today. The whole website, the whole blog, every post, every page, every quick post, every comment, every piece of media on it, video, links, and everything. There's nothing in here that's an island. Everything is a part of it. Next thing you know, you want to figure out which platform you want to go to. As a matter of fact, if you're on my website, you can go up and look at platforms up there. It's going to go through some of them, kind of like Joomla and WordPress and Drupal. Tell you this, if you're a beginner, you want WordPress. WordPress, WordPress, WordPress. Why? Because it's very, very simple to work with. There, are, there is a little learning curve here. There is a learning curve to this, but don't worry, you can get through it. As a matter of fact, most of the people inside my training program literally have a website up within four to five days and they're already starting to create content, period. That's why we have a 73% success rate uh, uh, in our program with uh, for uh, people driving traffic and generating an income. Because we get you out there, get you help you get set up, make sure that you're on the right path to really generating traffic and converting that traffic into what you really want, income. So with WordPress, there's only a few little pieces of the learning curve to it. First off, you're going to want to pick a good theme, something that looks nice, something that's clean. There's lots of free themes. There's also lots of premium themes. The other thing is, guys, is plugins. You're going to have to sit there and get these plugins. Some of these plugins are going to have to do a lot with search engine optimization. They're plugins that you won't really see on your website. You don't see them doing anything. They're doing stuff behind the scenes, okay? The other is going to be for, you know, more uh, uh, pretty. 
we use the word aesthetics, but uh, we use the word pretty. It makes your site pretty. You know the little widget bar over here, and if you're seeing this over on, on eBloggerPro.com, then you'll see my widget bar. It's got some nice stuff and some nice stuff over here. You'll see that it's very clean. It's very clean, but there's still some nice stuff over here that looks really nice. Those things are called widgets. Widgets, uh, but uh, some of these widgets have are actually plugins on uh, that I use inside of WordPress. Um, next thing you're going to want to sit there and focus in on is learning how to incorporate. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go to this part right here. What you're going to want to learn is how to create good content. You're going to have to learn how to create good content. You know, um, this is something that you might want to learn even before you start writing your pages. And the reason is, is that, you know, there's a big difference between optimizing for the search engines and optimizing for people. You need to optimize for people as much as possible. <coughs> That's why I didn't really mention it too much. I know my throat's getting dry because it's so warm inside. It's getting warm in here. Um, you know, the reason I didn't mention it with the pages uh, up there is basically because you really really don't want to focus on SEO as much as you want to focus on, you know, creating information for people. There are things in SEO that you're going to have to understand. Title tags, alt text in your images, getting your video in there nice and clean, latent somatic indexing, which is basically LSI keywords, uh, synonyms, dog, puppy, puppy, canine, things like that. Um, understanding anchor text, uh, how to build links and things like that. These things are very important. But when it comes down to creating content, starting to build links, starting to really build your website, you are going to need a little, there's a learning curve there, and I think getting out there and getting some good training, whether it's here with us or anywhere, I don't care, just go get that training and start creating that content. After that, guys, and you've got all this stuff basically done, really, you're just going to start publishing your stuff. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I think one of the, the you know, when I... When I say that I have a 73% success rate of people driving traffic, generating an income online, um, I think what I'm trying to, you know, there's 27% of the people still that really aren't doing anything. And I think one of the, the biggest reasons is, is that they're worried. It's not that they're skeptical that it won't work because they're still my friends. I, I mean, <laughs> they're still my friends. I still talk to them. And these are people that are on my own personal list for this training program. And the thing is, is that I think the biggest deal for these guys here in particular is going to be two sets of people here. Lazy, who just can't, won't do it. Not that they can't, they just won't do it. And then there's those people out there who really want to do it, but they're worried. They're afraid of being looked at funny, like, oh man, he's a horrible. Guys, read my content. I don't write very good. That's why I put these videos on here. You know, dork when it comes to writing stuff. Put a video on it. <clears throat> but you'll see that it's nicely formatted. It is very nice. It reads very easy. I'm not the best writer in the world, but it, write, it reads nicely. The thing is, is that people get worried about what other people are going to think about their stuff, going, oh man, I don't know. Don't worry about that stuff. Just publish it. The most wonderful thing about online marketing is that everything's got a freaking edit button. <laughs> Go fix it when you get better. That's what I did. I started fixing things as I got better and better and better at it. Started going back and, and fixing up old pieces of content. And then guess what I found out? Fixing up those old pieces of content was perfect SEO and SEM for my website. Yeah, not kidding. What a wonderful thing, huh? Yeah, just little tiny things that you learn, guys. But starting a blog is absolutely probably the best thing that you can possibly do. Uh, blogging is actually the largest social media on the planet. There is no more love that Google has for any platform out here other than its own YouTube and, and videos than it does for blogs. If you go around and you start doing uh, you know, some searches on some different keywords after this video, go around and search. Search, search, search in some keywords. Search the keywords in this website. Go to davidjboozer.com. Look around for the keywords on there. Start searching this stuff out and you're going to find out that these are mostly blogs. You've got to have a blog. It's just the way it is. But go ahead, guys. Feel free to look around and everything else. If you'd like to start learning about blogging and learning about search engine marketing and getting a solid free training tutorials on that, video training tutorials where I write this stuff out for you, fill out your information. Go ahead. Um, it's down below. Fill out your information. Start getting those. There's no obligation. Just grab them. Grab that free training. It's absolutely free. But uh, no matter what, guys, start getting blogging. It's really not that difficult to start a blog. 
As a matter of fact, I'll tell you this right now. One other thing before we go. Free blog versus, you know, basically a, a your own blog. One that you purchase, a domain name. Um, get a domain name. Buy the hosting. Buy the domain name. Get your own little home online and then slap that sucker right on a WordPress. It's going to be the best bet for you. Here's another thing. Dot coms, dot nets, dot co's or anything like that. Actually, I was just listening to Matt Cuts the other day. Um, because of all this new algorithm changes and everything else, dot coms, dot nets, dot infos, they're all just as important as the next one. They really, really are. They don't really put any sort of uh, importance on, uh, over, you know, one over the other. They don't. So don't be afraid to get a dot net or a dot info or anything like that. I get dot coms because I'm used to it. But try to get one. Host that thing yourself. Get it hosted. Have a hosted site. Don't have a free site. Get a hosted site. It's much better. And it's actually more search engine friendly. They do like hosted sites better than they like free sites. Okay? Anyways, thank you guys very much for uh, being on here. And uh, please look around the site for a little while. Gather some more information. There's tags over here and categories. Pick out what you want to learn. Start learning. No matter what, God bless.